Hi there. This is Spiral Theus coming to you with another video on this time moving around in the virtual world of Second Life. Since Second Life is a three-dimensional world, you can use your avatar's body to move around within the virtual space, walking or running along the ground. You control your avatar using the arrow keys on your keyboard. So let's demonstrate how this works. First, I'm going to shift Spiral's perspective so that we're looking at her from the rear view by using this view control down here at the bottom. It's easier to move around when you're taking this perspective, which is just behind her, looking over her shoulder. This is the default view and probably the view that you, when you're working in Second Life, you see most often. So if we turn Spiral a little bit to the right, we can walk down this path. And right now I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard to propel her forward with the forward arrow key, or backwards with the backward arrow key, slightly to the left and forward, or slightly to the right and forward. And you can toggle back and forth by putting uh, one of your fingers on the forward arrow key and another on the right or the left, therefore allowing her to turn a little bit as she's walking this way. With a little practice, you'll find this uh, much more easy to do. All right, so that's the way she's going to walk around. Now, there's another way to do it by pressing this Move button down here in the bottom of your uh, Second Life window. If you click on Move, up comes a small palette right here with a replication of those same arrow keys that are on your keyboard here. So I can control Spiral by having her move walk forward, turn to the right, walk forward a little bit more. Um, so I'm pressing these arrows with my mouse. I find this a little bit more cumbersome and I prefer to use the arrow keys on my keyboard, but you can certainly use this. Now the other thing you can do with this move palette that you've brought up is you can use these three buttons down at the bottom to change the way she's moving. So the first button that we're on right now is the walk button. And as you can see, when I was using those arrow keys, she was walking. But if I switch to the middle button, that's the run mode. And now if I use the forward arrow keys, she moves quite a bit faster. She actually runs uh, along the ground. So this is a way to kind of get from A to B a little bit more quickly. The other thing we can do for using this move palette is to use the third button down at the bottom, which is the fly mode. If you click on that button, your avatar will go up in the air, and there's Spiral, hovering above the ground with her arms extended, and she's ready to fly. And if I now use the same arrow keys on the keyboard, she'll fly quite quickly from place to place. You want to be a little careful when you use the fly mode because you do move very fast, and it can be easy to get lost. And when you're ready to stop flying, you can either press the stop flying button here, or you can use these dashed arrows to the side to go up a little further and get a better view, or all the way down to the ground. And don't worry, you won't get hurt if you land roughly. So that's how you move around in Second Life, running, walking, or flying. Now how about if you wanted to sit? All right, well, let's take Spiral back over to those rocks at the beginning uh, when we started and have her sit down on one of those rocks over there. Now, there, um, most of the things that you can sit on have a little animation in them that allows your avatar to sit there. So if, and you access that by right-clicking on the place you want to sit. So if I right-click on this rock, one of the options in the menu that comes up is Sit Here. So if I choose Sit Here, Spiral immediately sits on the rocks. And she's now fixed, so I can move my camera around to see the front of her or swivel back to the back. And when she's finished sitting, I just press the stand button and up she comes. So that's the one way that we sit, but some of the chairs that you would want to sit in have animations built into them that will make you automatically sit, so you don't even have to right click. For instance, this seating area here, if I just click anywhere on these seats, Spiral will automatically sit. And you can tell that that's the case because, as you'll notice, my cursor has a little chair attached to it, which kind of gives you the heads up that you're going to automatically sit. So all I'm going to do now is regular old click on the chair, 
and spiral immediately sits down. So that's walking, running, sitting in second life.